Good evening, I'm Paul Fraser and this is the 7 o'clock news from Bahrain International. On behalf of His Majesty King Hamid bin Isa Al Khalifa, the National Guard Commander, Lieutenant General His Highness Sheikh Mohammed bin Isa Al Khalifa, attended the inauguration of the 32nd Janadriya National Heritage and Culture Festival. The festival is organised by the Saudi Ministry of National Guard under the patronage of the custodian of the two holy mosques, King Salman bin Abdulaziz Al Saud, who received His Highness Sheikh Mohammed bin Isa as well as delegations from the GCC. His Highness Sheikh Mohammed bin Isa conveyed the greetings of His Majesty the King to the custodian of the two holy mosques, as well as his wishes to the Saudi King and his people of further progress and prosperity. The 32nd Janadria National Heritage and Culture Festival commenced in Saudi Arabia in the presence of the custodian of the two holy mosques, King Salman bin Abdulaziz Al Saud, and a number of emirs and sheikhs from Gulf countries. The event started with a camel race, which is one of the festival's most prominent activities, with the participation of a number of Gulf nations. The custodian of the two holy mosques presented the first five winners of the festival with their awards. An operata was performed during the event which reviewed the history of the Kingdom of Saudi Arabia since its establishment until the present day. A number of artists and poets participated in the performance of the operata. India is the guest of honour at this year's festival, which has become a tradition over the past ten years to strengthen cultural relations with a number of Arab and foreign countries. Southern Governor Sheikh Khalifa bin Ali Al Khalifa honoured a number of charities that serve nursing homes in a ceremony attended by a number of elders which comes within charity work initiatives and activities organised by the Southern Governorate held at the Camping Service Centre. Sheikh Khalifa affirmed the importance of the contribution of the elderly in society and the country as a whole which necessitates meeting their needs and living requirements and highlighting the values they promote by benefiting from their experiences. He hailed the efforts and humanitarian role of all establishments and charities that serve the elderly. Sheikh Ali then honoured the presidents of the clubs, associations and parties accredited by the Ministry of Labour and Social Development and distributed souvenirs to the elderly in a gesture to spread joy. The elderly then conducted a field tour to the camp centre and were briefed on the services provided. Housing Minister Bassem Yaqub al Hamar headed Bahrain's delegation currently participating in the ninth session of the World Urban Forum held in Kuala Lumpur, Malaysia. al Hamar said that over the past five decades, the Kingdom of Bahrain has attached great importance to sustainable urban development in all government programs and plans. He added that during the era of His Majesty Hamad bin Isa al Khalifa, the government has taken important steps to diversify the economy with the aim of increasing productivity 
mobility, raising the standard of living and providing job opportunities for citizens while ensuring social communication protection and social equality for all the population. Alhama went on to state that the Kingdom's early achievement of the Millennium Development Goals was the result of the vision adopted by the government under the leadership of His Royal Highness the Prime Minister, Prince Khalifa bin Salman Al Khalifa, who received recognition for these achievements when he was awarded the United Nations Human Settlements Programme. United Nations Habitat in 2007 as a result of the United Nations Millennium. Alhamar affirmed that the Kingdom of Bahrain is giving high priority to its implementation of the Sustainable Development Goals 2030, noting that the Kingdom has included 78% of these targets in the government's programme of work from 2015 until the end of this year. The minister added that the government regularly monitors the indicators of Sustainable Development Goals and ensures that it achieves them as it adopts a systematic mechanism to assess the challenges and take the necessary measures to solve them in order to keep up with international goals. Deputy Chairman of the Board of Trustees and Chief Executive Officer of the Aisa Cultural Center, Dr. Sheikh Khalid bin Khalifa Al Khalifa, gave a seminar today organized by This is Bahrain in cooperation with the Aisa Cultural Center to introduce the King Hamid Global Center for Interfaith Dialogue and Peaceful Coexistence. Sheikh Khalid affirmed that the establishment of the King Hamid Global Center reinforces the status of the people of Bahrain as ambassadors for religious tolerance and peaceful coexistence to the world. Sheikh Khalid stressed that the initiative to establish the King Hamid Global Center makes Bahrain a main global center for important meetings, dialogues and conferences related to achieving peace and harmony amongst all religions and fighting terrorism and extremism. The Secretary-General of the Bahrain Federation of Expatriate Associations, Betsy Matheson, said that This is Bahrain has presented three unique projects in the world, embodying the philosophy of the wise leadership of His Majesty the King. The establishment of the King Hamid Chair for Interreligious Dialogue and Peaceful Coexistence at the Italian University. The launch of the Kingdom of Bahrain's Declaration and the launch of the King Hamid Global Center for Interfaith Dialogue and Peaceful Coexistence in Bahrain, which is to be officially announced by His Majesty in March. Under the patronage of His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa, the Isa Cultural Center organized a seminar addressing the concept and vision of the King Hamad Center for Interfaith Dialogue and Peaceful Coexistence, and an introduction to the vast history of the Kingdom of Bahrain's cultural and religious diversity. The seminar was given by the Deputy Chairman of the Board of Trustees and CEO of Isa Cultural Center, Dr. Khalid bin Khalifa Al Khalifa. The official inauguration will be on the 14th of March here at the Isa Cultural Centre by His Majesty King Hamid bin Isa Al Khalifa and um, the temporary headquarters for the King Hamid Global Centre will initially be here at the Isa Cultural Centre um, whilst um, a purpose-built uh, facility which will become an inspirational iconic building uh, to house His Majesty's uh, vision uh, will be ongoing and it will be built on land generously donated by His Majesty the King. It will house a museum which will showcase Bahrain's rich legacy of religious freedom and peaceful coexistence. What has been done for this uh, chair is really great. Everywhere they are saying, this is something new. Nobody tackles this, uh, this important issue. Present at the seminar were people from all over Bahrain, including students from the Bahrain British School and the Asian School. The reaction and feedback of the students after the seminar was very positive. So we have to start with education and we began with the King Hamid chair, the first of its kind in the world. And this is something very important because today we brought young people with us today from several schools and educational institutes in Bahrain because they are our future. And so we have to begin with education and the King Hamid chair at Sapienza University in Rome cuts right to the heart of the evil ideology that is being peddled around university campuses all over the world. So many religions in our school. like. It, there are so many and it, it taught me that they pray in different places and that we should all love each other and we shouldn't care about all the violence that's happening outside against all religions. Bahrain, the country we live in, is a country that does not do any discrimination on the basis of your religion, your faith, let it be anything. And we are really gracious to our king 
King Ahmed bin Isa Al Khalifa for providing us with such facilities. So, and yes, so what we take back is that religion, these all aren't a thing that you actually should be taking into account. Our multicultural um, society, environment, this is what makes us us. We teach religion in the school. They teach about different religions and they do visit all the different it, the churches, the mosques, the temples, all of the children go and visit them. But I think it highlighted the importance of faith and that faith illuminating the pathway to peace. Some beautiful words. Um, and I think they will go away remembering some of these words is what I, what I really think. Religious leaders of Bahrain lauded the lecture emphasizing the history behind Bahrain, which is affected by its geographical location, in addition to the people of Bahrain being acceptive and welcoming. We are really thankful for His Majesty, for freedom for us to worship in our own way and our own God. Especially, uh, the, uh, we know that uh, Bahrain is a place of peace and coexistence of religions. King Hamad Global Center for interfaith dialogue for peaceful coexistence which is now coming up is a need of an hour because with this center coming up we will be able to meet all the faiths together and have the world and have the common platform in which we can discuss each and every issues which can 101% solve all the problems of terrorism which we are fa facing this day. His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa's vision for coexistence and interfaith dialogue has been actuated here today at Isa Cultural Center in a seminar teaching students from different schools the truth about Bahrain's history and peaceful coexistence. This is Sarah Barak reporting for Bahrain International. The Supreme Council of Islamic Affairs, the SCIA, has denounced the calls to internationalize the two holy mosques or their insertion into blunt political disputes as part of purposeful bids to smear the prestigious status of the land of the two holy mosques or to sow sedition amongst Muslims to become the leeway for enemies of the Arab and Islamic nations. The Council urged all Muslims to be aware of the historic responsibility in view of the current challenging conditions in the region and to stand up against any plots aimed at undermining the holy sites as well as the interests and unity of Muslims. The Council praised the capable and efficient government of the custodian of the two holy mosques, King Salman bin Abdulaziz Al Saud, and his tremendous efforts and diligent management of the two holy mosques' affairs and in serving the holy Kaaba and the Prophet's mosque sincerely and carefully with the provision of all services and facilitation needed for pilgrims and Umrah visitors protecting the Islamic holy sanctuaries, noting the Kingdom of Saudi Arabia's leadership role and its significant status in the Arab and Muslim world. The Council praised the Kingdom's generosity and considerable support of the two holy mosques since the era of the late founding King Abdulaziz bin Abdurrahman al Saud. The Council also expressed pride and gratitude towards the Kingdom's role in the preservation, maintenance and care for the holy sanctuaries and making it easy for pilgrims to perform their rituals safely and securely.